okay what is up everyone this is Jason once again and right now I'm about to show you how I did a montage effect and in my last montage black ops episode 5 let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today oh my bad let me take that off of best there's no way it's gonna load like that Alright, you instantly notice that the audio muffles about right after the first shot, the audio begins to muffle and then it stays muffled until the final shot, at the end of the triple feed right here, coming up. And then you got the little screen shake right there. And I believe I did twitch on that, I'm not sure. I think it is, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick right now. I'm um, just go ahead and leave the audio in there. I actually have what I need right here already. We'll go ahead and bring in the clip. This actually is raw footage, so I gotta disable resample, of course. And crop it to YouTube. Or get rid of the black lines, is really the only reason doing that. But yeah, that's it. We'll go ahead and maximize this. And. Insert another audio track. Let's move this up. What? Oh man, it's not grouping at all. Alright. You know what? Let's just take away the audio. We can add those later. This, I'm gonna just show you how to muffle the audio. way too long to shorten this all right let me find the last shot which is right there I'm gonna move that and get it close to this final shot right here not perfect of course this is just a tutorial but um, I'm actually open up the L96 gunshot sound and all these will be in the download folder and you'll be able to I'll include everything that you see in this tutorial in the download folder. With also the Sony Vegas files so you can open it up and actually practice this yourself, you know. Alright. That's pretty close to what we want right there, just, you know, similar. Alright. The first shot, shot, wow. <laughs> that didn't come out right. Alright, it actually, first shot is right there. I'm gonna actually hit M on the keyboard, put a marker there. You can actually copy the L96 shot and go ahead and put it there for that one. It's not perfect now, I'm just showing you, but what you want to do next is we want to muffle right after that first shot. So find the perfect spot, split the bottom audio, and split it to and where you want it to start. So that would be right here. It's not perfect, but split it. Okay, now we're going to go to Vent Effects. Um, amplitude Modulation. And the preset is right here. I already had it saved. I'm going to include uh, the Vegas project file. So all you got to do is open it up. And you know, once you open it up, you'll see this preset. Just save it as your own name or whatever you want. But pretty much all you gotta do is up the wet to 24. Click blend graph edges. Up the mod frequency to 5000. Stereo pan to 100. And check low pass start frequency and 400 on that. And that's it. Now if we play this back, you can see it muffles the shot. See, we can actually add. You know, go ahead and add that second L96 shot, which would damn, that actually worked out perfect. <laughs> it actually hit on that beat right there. That was pure luck, but yeah, I'm gonna play that again. All right. 
No, I actually forgot, but <clears throat> this audio here already has the explosion effect rendered into it, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute that. And I'm gonna open up the explosion. Now the explosion I used is it's probably not the best because it kind of sounded like glass breaking, but I like the way it sounded, so I used it. And let me find where I put it. Should be on desktop tutorial files. This is the folder you'll be able to download. I'm gonna add a few more things to it, and then you just add this explosion right on the shot. That's pretty close. Um, you probably want to up the dB a good bit on it. You know, play it back, try it out. Yeah, that's pretty much. You know, you probably have to shorten this. You can shorten this a little bit. Make it fade out or whatever. And next, to do the shake effect, you need new blue effects. Um, you can't really. You could just Google it or search on YouTube how to get new blue effects so you can get it. I'm sure. As long as you got a little bit of common sense. But right here, time as it goes to the sniper scope pops up. I'm gonna hit S. We go to about right there. I guess you know wherever. Hold control on the keyboard, drag this out. In the video, I actually done Twixer on this part, so you know it don't look nothing like that. But this is Vegas slow motion, so yeah. And then you want to go to video effects, <coughs> and you want to go to new blue earthquake. Active camera looks okay on some of them, but you really have to tweak it to make it work. This would be my favorite one, Earthquake Handheld. Just drag and drop it on it. And I think I'm going to hit Shift B on that so it doesn't lag in the preview when you view it. Yeah, another thing you do, you could actually make it start out like right here. It would start out full handheld, then we would go to the end change the last keyframe to reset to none and it would you know eventually stop by the time it gets to the end of the clip and yeah guys that's basically it how to muffle the audio and amplify a shot up um that you can actually I'll include this Vegas project that you're actually looking at right here so you can play with it or whatever the grenade explosion or whatever explosion that was everything will be in the download folder which will be in the description um, I thank you for viewing the video, please leave a like, and if you would like to see any more tutorials, just suggest them, because I, I read all my comments, and I try to get, you know, whatever, later. <laughs>